Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dida. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm doing a coffee station tour and I wanted to show you guys how my coffee station looks. Um, to be honest, I don't have a coffee maker and reason being I'm just a caffeine addict and I didn't want to have a coffee maker here because I'll be drinking coffee the whole day. Um, and as a woman, you know, it disrupts your hormones, so I didn't want to do that. But I wanted to show you guys how I arrange it. Um, this is my favorite corner of the kitchen, to be honest. In the morning, the first thing I do is come here, you know, get uh, my favorite mug and, you know, pour my coffee. And this is my literally my breakfast area where we prepare our breakfast. I will make our toast. I love to have uh, toast um, every morning. So that's where we prepare our breakfast. So I wanted to show you guys how it looks. If you follow me on Instagram, then you obviously know how it looks. But I realized the last time I did a, a video like this was in 2020. And I wanted to do one this year and show you guys how it looks. Um, let's get started with this video. The first thing you see um, when you enter my kitchen is my um, like a coffee tea area. And the first item is this candle holder. Um, this one was from Mr. Price. Um, I believe it was like seven fifty. I think I removed the price, but it was around seven fifty. Then I have my favorite mugs. To be honest, I haven't used these mugs in a very long time. I think I haven't used them in a year or something. These ones were from Miniso, and these were from um, Carrefour, if I'm not wrong. And these ones, I guess, House of Leather because they're a bit big. Um, yeah, so a, a similar stand, you can find it from Mr. Price. I saw similar ones at uh, Yaya Center. To be honest, this stand, I bought it years, years ago. I don't remember uh, where I bought it from. Then moving along, I have this frame that I stuck on the wall with a double-sided tape. And the double-sided tape was from House of Leather. And this has been here since I moved to this apartment in um, end of 2020. So the double-sided tape is really good. And the frame um, was from my shop. And I just got this image online. It's simple, but I really loved it. So I put it there. And then moving down here, we have this chopping board that has like a marble um, effect. So this one was from Mr. Price. It was a thousand. And I got it from their branch at Yaya Center as well. And then we have this nice cute little um i forgot how you call it but it's like a so uh, it's like a, a little pot for gravy and i bought it from nakumat it was 2.95 then i have these forks that i used to sell at my shop so i just put them there those are dessert forks then on this side i have this um candle from mini so you can see there it smells really great um i believe they are sold out right now and then it was 1000 and then we have this nice, um, like a gold coaster from Mr. Price. I bought this sometime um, last year at one. And then we have these nice mugs. These ones were from my shop. So <laughs> this was the only set remaining and I decided to take them. And then inside I just put these nice gold spoons that also were from my store um, when I had a shop at Timbong Road Business Center. So that's how they look. I love, I love how they like the end of it, how it's like a tea. Uh, sorry, it's like a tree branch uh, with leaves. So I love the shape of that. So I just put them there, and they look like that. It's really nice. So moving along, I have this nice glass jars from House of Leather. I don't know the price because these ones were but they gift from my son. That's why I don't want to change them. Um, I think he'll feel bad if I do so. And so I only, I put sugar here for people, you know, when I have visitors that use sugar, but we don't use sugar. So actually I need to clean that. And then I have tea bags and tea leaves, that's it. So we don't. So moving along, I have this air fryer that's from Bone Hot Point. You can see I bought it last year, it was on sale. So I just took advantage of that. And to be honest, right now I'm using it to warm food and it's really good. Um, you can see I don't have a microwave, I sold mine. Um, I wasn't using it, so I decided to sell it. And this one serves the purpose. Um, 
like the microwave especially when you have leftover like uh, say pizza chapati or something like that and you know of course uh, it's an air fryer so it's healthy you can make healthy fries and things like that so moving along i have this tissue holder from um nakumat i bought it at prestige plaza then this little bluetooth speaker from miniso i like to listen to music with it that's actually my son's and then on the wall i have this uh it's a a4 size frame i saw these roses online and i really love the color so i just thought why not frame i like get that frame then put it in the coffee area because it's it's just okay, lastly gorgeous. i have this area um this is where i put my you know my black pepper my cooking oil uh salt when i'm cooking so the tray itself was from my shop um and i was selling them at 800 shillings and then i have another of the marble effect like chopping boards this one was also from mr price and i got that on sale um it was 1000 but i bought this at 600 and then i have a chopping board this is a bamboo chopping board from um, quick mart and then i have my uh, knives i have uh, you know my cooking spoons and stuff like that so i have to actually reduce some of them um this one is special to me my son just gave it to me so in school they do woodwork and he made this for me <laughs> last year he was telling me not to buy any any uh cooking spoon because it's going to bring for me Muiko. so he brought it for me yesterday it's so cute i haven't used it yet um i just have random things in there as well uh, knives and stuff like that and then moving along is I love this pestle mortar this one was from Shangarana at Adelaide it was 999 and then I have my toothpick holder this one was from uh, Nakumat I haven't put any toothpicks I don't know where I put the toothpicks oh I forgot to mention about this one this is actually a flower vase from Tuck store and I just put the my, my stuff there but it's actually a flower vase I love the way it looks um, so that's why I'm using it for that purpose. Then another candle stand and candle from Mr. Price was $7.50. The candle, um, I want to say $4.50, $5.50. And then we have this bamboo black paper shaker that I got from Kafu. It was actually the last piece remaining and I decided to just get it. It's not a grinder, it's just, um, you know, a black paper. And I have this jar, this used to be a candle jar and when it was over, um, I decided to put some, you know, match sticks in here. So I have extra match sticks there. And my soul shaker also from Quick Mart. And then this flower vase was from my shop. I actually did that gold leaf uh, deco on it and the hydrangeas also for, was from my shop. And then we have this um, nice oil dispenser from, where did I buy this from? I think Quick Mart. I just use it to put olive oil and because it's like sometimes the oil leaks. So what I did is I got another Costa. This is a rose gold one. And I just put it there and put, so that, and put the dispenser there, the little jar there so that it doesn't spoil my, you know, my tray. So that's it guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Also go to my Instagram page at Home Deco by Dida, like, comment, you know, share my post and let me know what you think about um, any post that I share there. Thank you guys and see you next time. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a